Hello. Let's see who joins us. Going to start lighting some Palo Santo to clear the space. Welcoming you in. We are gonna do a very special guided meditation. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? How are you guys? So the full moon is coming. Who's feeling the crazy full moon energies yet? Into the smoke we release all that is not in service of our highest and best good. Ooh, look at that beautiful Palo Santo. Welcoming you into this sacred container. So we are going to do a Reiki infused guided meditation, but we are going to focus on protection. Oh, I'm feeling, oh, migraine. Oh, girl. Shh. Lots of water. Healthy salts. Himalayan sea salt. Salt baths. Peppermint tea for migraines. Try those, see if they help. But yeah, it's intense. So the full moon is a super moon, and it's going to be in Scorpio, which is the sign I have a lot of stress. Ah, oh, I feel you. There's a lot of stress going on too. I'm definitely feeling that. So we are going. Keep doing them. Keep doing them. And then keep clearing your energy. So today is going to be great if you are experiencing any of the signs of the full moon, the intensity of the full moon. Scorpio is about death, rebirth, purification. Um, it's about the mysteries, about delving into the shadow. So there's a lot of shadow stuff coming up. I don't know if you're feeling it, but this is my sense and how I'm feeling it. And some of the people around me are also feeling this. So you may resonate with this as well. What we're gonna do today is what you can do about stress, but I'm gonna share some other stuff too, Nina. So a lot of the energy is very hectic. It's a lot about going into the shadow and really seeing those aspects of ourselves that we don't want to see. So if there are truths about people, places, things, yourself that you are not have not been willing to look at, this moon is really pushing that forward because in order for us to heal in order for us to manifest in order for us to step into our power we need to face ourselves pretty much so the meditation we're going to do i'm going to be channeling reiki holy fire energy as well as the highest frequencies from source so we're gonna be doing a purification meditation as well as heart opening and allowing ourselves to feel safe and protected when we feel stressed or anxious it's because we don't know where we're standing we we have there's a lot of uncertainty there's a lot of we don't know what to do there's a lot of turmoil going on so it's natural for us to feel stressed because we're human so one of the great things I like to do is really ground myself into the earth when I feel stressed. So the, the way that we do this is we just envision protective roots going deep into the earth all the way to the core and bringing up white light to transmute all that low density, all that stress, all that negativity and allow ourselves to release from the top of our head with our breath, with our inhale, and particularly our exhale. When we are stressed, we do not exhale. So allowing yourself to take those full exhales, full exhales to really send all of the negative energies, all of the stress, all of the 
whatever is percolating in your physical, emotional, mental body, sending it down to the earth with the intention of allowing it to be transmuted. That is a very powerful practice that is part of what we are gonna do in this meditation. And as I call in our guides to support us and to anchor in the highest frequencies in our heart. So it is a very, very interesting time cosmically. Pluto is gonna go retrograde. I believe it's on Monday or Tuesday, right after the full moon. So Pluto is also a tiny planet, a very far away planet, but a very powerful planet. Pluto, of course, is the ruler of the underworld. Pluto is also about death, rebirth, and transformation. And hey, Pluto is the planetary ruler of Scorpio. So there's a lot of energy and we're going to go more into it in our full moon ritual, which is going to be on Monday. But this is kind of a preview um, of what the small preview of what can be expected for the ritual. So we are going to get started. I will be channeling this meditation. So this will be probably about 25, 30 minutes long. Feel free to join me. We are gonna start because there's a lot of stress that likes to stay in your spine. So just kind of move however your body wants to move. Just as you settle into a comfortable seating position, lotus pose, palms up to receive the energy, or you can be laying down, but allow your spine to be straight and allow yourself to just tune into your body. Start taking deep inhales and full exhales, like completely. Let your lungs get rid of all of that air. So, settling in. So we are gonna rub our palms together in front of our heart, feeling your palms heat up as we take a deep inhale. Filling your body completely and holding. And then exhaling. Two more and the next two. We are going to envision brilliant white light in our solar plexus. So the first, well, the, the second deep breath we're taking together, we're gonna envision it expanding, expanding in our solar plexus. And as we exhale, we're not gonna release it. On the third inhale that we do, um, we're gonna take in even more white light. And then on the third exhale, because we did one breath together, we are going to envision this supernova of white light blasting away 360 degrees from our solar plexus to cut all cords, dissolve them, sever any negativity, any stress, basically anything that you're holding onto that's holding a charge that is not in your highest and best good. Let me be clear, because if it's a good charge, we like those. But if it's a charge that is, is really draining you, we want to let that go. So taking a deep breath in, envisioning your solar plexus filling with white light. Exhaling. We're keeping the energy and the intensity of that white light, envisioning it brightly. Last deep breath in together. And blasting that supernova strongly as you can. So now we close our eyes and allow our breath just come to a natural rhythm. Allowing your breath to just breathe in gently and exhale gently. Remember your body goes through a lot on a day in and day out basis. So be gentle, be kind, be loving to yourself. As we take a deep breath in and exhale. So at this point we allow ourselves to set the intention for the highest healing 
the highest divine love and divine empowerment, the well-being and peace of mind for it to be enjoyed by us all. As we envision grounding protective roots coming out of the base of your spine, your root chakra. So whenever we feel stressed or uncertain, this is the root chakra we must work on. Envisioning these protective grounding roots coming out of the base of your spine, extending down through the floor beneath you through the different layers of rock and sand, the crystal kingdom, the ley lines of the planet, the vortices, all the way down to the core of Mother Earth, envisioning your roots planted firmly into the earth. And our roots are going to allow us to let go and shed any tension in our body, any emotions that need to be released, stress, heartache. But our roots are also going to fill us with white light, rising up from the core of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, feeling her love the security, the abundance and protection she provides. Breathing in that brilliant healing white light. Envisioning this white light entering through your roots to your root chakra, the base of your spine, your perineum. Rising up your spinal column like liquid white fire. Clearing and purifying. And as we cleanse and clear and purify. Breathing deeply. Allowing this brilliant healing white light to open every energetic center, bathing it with white light bathing your root chakra in safety, in stability, in security, in safety. Rising up to your sacral, right below your belly button. Bathing this energetic center in creativity, in divine flow, allowing your emotions to be purified. Blessing your fertility of ideas, of projects, of creation. As we rise up to our solar plexus your power center your i am your place of divine empowerment and sovereignty here we bathe ourselves in freedom trusting ourselves in our power reclaiming our power from anyone and anything that we have given it away to. Rising up 
to our heart, filling ourselves with divine love, compassion, purity, and peace. As we rise up to our throat, breathing in healing around our authentic expression, our communication, around showing up in our power, the authentic expression of our power. Allowing any blocks to our communication to be cleared, to be released and shed into the light of Mother Gaia. As we rise up to our third eye, the point between our brow, our center of intuition, of inner knowing, of wisdom and discernment of the highest order. Envisioning our third eye to be cleared, it is safe for us to see. It is safe for us to discern. It is safe to us for us to be in the empowerment of our inner knowing As we rise up to our crown, envisioning ourselves connected to source energy, to the I am, to the consciousness that animates all things and all beings across all timelines and lifetimes. As this brilliant white light rises up out of our crown, extending up through the ceiling, into the skies, reaching out into the cosmos, into space. Where your white light is met by the cosmic divine frequency, the golden light of source energy, the cosmic womb from the beginning of all there is. This golden light merging, intertwining with your white light as it makes its way down into the earth, through the atmosphere, down, all the way down. through the ceiling above you and into your crown as your brilliant light is bathed with golden light, filling every cell, every muscle, every fiber, every energetic center in your body, in all of your bodies. As this golden light from source merges through your roots with the core of Mother Earth, her crystalline core. And as we are held by the cosmic light of source, this golden energy and the brilliant white healing light of Mother Earth, In safety, in divine love, in divine sovereignty, we call in our spirit guides of the highest vibrations of unconditional love, the angels, archangels, ascended masters, Pleiadians of the light, Syrians, our star brothers and sisters, the Lyrans, only the highest vibrations of unconditional love, light, and healing to be here with us. Calling in the healing energies of Reiki Holy Fire to amplify the healing 
the empowerment. The transformation. Allowing ourselves to be purified. to let go of what must be shed. Inviting divine healing and forgiveness, trusting ourselves in our empowerment Calling in the divine light of diamond code to code us. Upgrading our DNA. Adding another level to the purification we are requesting to be aided in this time and space. Shedding, allowing your guides to take on, your angels to take on that which is no longer in alignment. Envisioning yourself protected. In divine flow. Letting go of grief, pain, sorrow. And as every cell in our body is bathed in healing energy from source, from Mother Earth, from Reiki Holy Fire, from the highest frequencies, allowing yourself to let go even further of what has been holding you back. What has kept you in a box. Allow those limitations to melt into the earth. Into the skies above. As you feel into your heart, allowing divine love to flow through you, anchored in your heart. Mm. 
divine love, forgiveness, compassion, peace, bliss, enjoyment, laughter. Fill your heart with those energies. Breathing, anchoring yourself in your heart. Calling upon the crystal energy of black kyanite. To sweep your auric field. of any debris, any stuck energy. <laughs> Cleansing and purifying. And wherever you feel tension in your physical body, allowing the energy of black kyanite to slough away that energy as if it's an energetic sweep or a broom. Allowing it to spend time wherever you feel the most tension. As we breathe into the energy of selenite, this brilliant translucent white crystal, allowing it to purify our energy, our emotional centers. Breathing, allowing what needs to dissolve away from you to dissolve. Allowing yourself to feel empowered, 
as the healing energies seal any tears in your aura, fortifying your energetic bubble, strengthening the energetic centers in your body, And as we bring our energy bodies, our physical, mental, and emotional bodies into wholeness, into the highest frequencies of unconditional love and empowerment, asking for any wisdom from our higher self our guides, our angels. What do we need to know in this moment, in this here and now? To feel empowered, to feel held by divine love and light, to move forward and allow ourselves to be rebirthed and transformed. Trusting in our wisdom, trusting in our inner knowing. Calling upon Archangel Michael and his brilliant blue fire. to birth from within our solar plexus, expanding around our aura, protecting us. Bathing us in brilliant blue fire energy. as we set the intention for this blue fire to consume any negativity. And as it consumes, allowing it to strengthen, getting brighter and brighter.
And as we're standing in the safety, security, protection, and divine love that is all around us, Extending gratitude to ourselves, to our guides and spirit, the angels, archangels who have come to assist us, the ascended masters, our star brothers and sisters, Pleiadians of the light, the Syrians, the Lyrans, our cosmic brothers and sisters, Source, Mother Earth, the healing energies of Reiki, Holy Fire, Archangel Michael, wrapping ourselves in divine love, divine healing and empowerment. that we extend to our family, friends, loved ones, allowing ourselves to be in a state of peace, alignment, and well-being. As we call our energy back to present time, to the here and now, envisioning ourselves whole, complete, and in alignment with the highest frequencies of unconditional love, source energy. bringing our energy back into our heart, into our solar plexus. Thanking the crystal kingdoms for their support. As we wiggle our fingers and our toes, inviting ourselves back into the present moment. Focusing on our breath and opening your eyes when you are ready. Namaste. How are we feeling? <laughs> Hands were on fire. <laughs> That's awesome. Let it purify your actions and guide you. Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome, Kamal. Thank you for joining. If anyone else would love to share their experience or has any questions. Ooh, yay, I'm so glad. 
Girl, I had to call in Archangel Michael. Peaceful, perfect. Thank you, John. I'm glad you're feeling peaceful. So may peace, love, and well-being be with you all. Thank you for joining me. I will be back next Tuesday for our guided meditation at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard. If you feel guided to work with me over the weekend, hands and feet were tingling. Let the energy flow. Full moon ceremony on Monday. Check out the link in the bio. I will see you next Tuesday if not, but I'm sending you all so much love. Please revisit this meditation if you feel called to or take a visit at any of our beautiful sound baths. Thank you all so much. Sending you so much love. Please take care. Oh, and drink lots of water. That's the one thing. Drink plenty of water the next two days because there's going to be a lot of releasing, a lot of energy flowing. So drink a lot of water and take care of yourselves. Love to you guys. Bye.